In previous session, we learned more about context package through which we learned about how to pass the context of a execution to the modules and other functions. As part of this session, we learned about how to handle errors, what is the panic, how to uh, take care about errors uh, during the execution of your code. Let us talk about Golang advanced features. As part of this session, we will talk about error handling in Golang. So there are uh, four types of uh, error handling uh, can be done in Go. One is checking for specific errors. For example, if you call some function, you will get some error. That error is not equal to null. Then check that particular error message is, is this type of like a specific type, basically, specific error. Then handle that error. Otherwise, handle whatever other error you have received it. This is one type of uh, error checking. And uh, other way is like a returning errors. For example, some function return error, we are trying to return some error. That error actually we are trying to print it. Uh, we will see this 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 particular function uh, while coding actually we will see details about this function. And third type is handling multiple errors. For example, you have some multiple errors, we are trying to process each item in the slice or array or some map. What we are trying to do is we need to process that particular uh, item uh, with some handle, some, some function. If that particular item is properly handled or everything is correct or something is wrong, then return that error and you, you need to append all the errors basically. So from the slice of errors, once you feel like all errors are handled and uh, we can try to handle like we need to take actions like what kind of action you need to take care on, the, on that particular multiple errors. And third thing is like a defining custom errors. So you can define your own errors. For example, like in, in this case, like my error struck we created, which has the message and its code. You can um, uh, just format this particular method, functional error from this uh, my error struck. You just format the error message and the error code so that uh, we can handle it in wherever required. So how to use this my error? If some custom error function you can write and something goes wrong, then just trying to return the object of my error. Actually, this is actually custom message uh, you can print actually. And how to call this one? You can call the some custom error function. This function. If this is not nil, then you need to erase that my error, read that error, and okay, you can get this. If this is error, then you try to print the error. This method actually trying to print this message. Else, print the entire uh, error, entire custom error message. Uh, let us see about uh, like uh, how we can handle this in the code. For example, if you see right specific uh, first uh, kind of error checking like error checking specific type. So in this case, what I am doing is some function I am calling. This some function basically returning specific error message. This is the same message actually I am checking in the main function. If you see strings contains error message, specific error message, right? So that this will become true because this function returning same error message and I will print this particular message like handle specific error and second thing is returning errors some function return error I just uh, wrote one function okay this actually what it will do is it will just uh, check some boolean value something just I am by default I am returning true here in this case actually I am trying to return error message here directly right so that error I am trying to print here and third thing is like uh, handling multiple errors. So I, what I am taking here is some items I am taking one to five. And I'm and in some function I am trying to take this item as input. And in this uh, item function what I am trying to do is I am trying to create a new error message, error message with this format item error and uh, whatever item I am just trying to append that one formatting that particular error message and I am trying to return that error if that is null then I am trying to append all the errors into the slice. If that error's length is greater than zero I am trying to print in all, all errors here. And the last one is like a, a custom errors. So custom errors basically if you see that I created one struct which has message and code I am overriding error message pung method. This method nothing is doing it is just trying to format the error message and the error code and it will just return it okay and uh, some custom error function i am calling here again this i am i am trying to call this uh, my error i am just returning the my error object of uh, message and its code okay so i am calling this that function here and i am trying to read that error if that error is okay then i am trying to print the error message we should print the formatted error message otherwise i am trying to print the my error object directly 
let us run this code and see how it works go run mine so if you see right handle specific error first thing is returning this is what it is printing because we are returning this function actually specific error message as we discussed and second thing is we are trying to return uh, returning like uh, something went wrong if, if you go and check this method this method something went wrong is true by default if you see here and i'm returning the same error message right so that's why you can see this message printing as part of this line line number 57 so for uh, multiple errors case we are trying to return some item function which actually appends like item error 1 2 3 4 5 like this so we are just printing all the items here all the errors here this errors we are appending all the errors here and we are printing in line number 70 and the custom errors thing if you see that we are trying to some custom error function in this function we are trying to something went wrong is always true so we are trying to create something went wrong with code uh, 123 right so that method is coming here that uh, error message custom error and we are trying to print that message here that error message so error something went wrong followed by the code same thing whatever we are formatted it is written in so this is all about like error handling and the different ways we can handle error